Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mary Ellie Alvarez and today I decided to put this gift basket together because I just came from Target. I was looking around to see what they had. They didn't have much, but I really found this basket super cool. And the reason why I chose it is because I am going through a change in Quindom Cafe. And so it is amazing how we can give our idea to God and he can change over time how your business should look like, okay? And I trust God what he's doing. And so Queen on Cafe started with Simplicity Planning, which was about planning, planners and things like that. And then over the years, he kind of, you know, changed the whole idea. Now he's changing the branding of my business. And although I had the idea of doing gift baskets, he turned it into a different thing. I used to do this bright colors and all of that. And I guess he wants me to tone it down a little bit. We're going to work at a place of simplicity. And that's where he's taking me. So he wants me to focus on um, neutral colors. So for example, this right here, this is the basket that I found at Target today for $5. And this has the neutral colors. Then I found this that I had here, neutral colors. Um, we're talking about um, cream colors, earth tone colors with a touch of red. Um, he wants uh, Quindom Cafe to be a place where you can find the whole entire brand as tranquility, serene, and um, but also with a touch of elegance, okay? And so I started putting things together just to see how they look. So I know I had this um, set, the only set that I have left. I, I also had this wallet. And I also have, let me bring you down a little bit. And I also have the Dove and the Rose uh, Bath & Body Works Body Cream. And so I thought about adding these because this has a touch of elegance. So here is the idea of the new branding for Quindom Cafe is that yes, you can make gift baskets. Okay. Yes, you can make gift baskets, but the Lord doesn't want me to go overboard, okay? So what we're trying to do is we are going to target to a different audience. Some people may do a uh, gift basket and they're taking advantage of, you know, the 90% off and all of that. But if we are going to work at a place of simplicity, we have to work in a different mindset. It's okay for them to do so because the Lord has a different idea with them. But... To a place that he wants to take me um, and the journey that he wants to take me with uh, Quindom Cafe is a place of peace, okay? And so, it may be okay. Sorry, I can't cut that. <laughs> and the place that he wants to take me, and it's because I'm always... Um, in my prayers, I'm always asking for peace. Um, all I want is peace and this and that. And he is delivering that also through my uh, business. So being all um, energetic is not bad because that's, that's the personality that I have. But I guess, you know, sometimes through the trials and tribulations, um, uh, we may find that we are not at peace, okay? And so, sometimes when we are, you know, outgoing and, you know, having a personality of, oh my goodness, you make me happy because you're always happy and this and that. I guess, um, as a natural person that I am like that, maybe we are, you know, showcasing a 
a weird, you know, personality, a unique personality that people may not think that you're always like that 24/7 and when you're trying to tone it down, they don't they don't see you as a person who can tone it down, okay? And my experience, that's what I've been experiencing. But through the trials and tribulations, um somehow in our journey we have to kind of like tone it down and so i feel like the lord is taking me to to that journey and is going to you know showcase in my business so the business it's always been uh the business has always been you know focused on uh gift uh coffee mugs and tumblers and things like that but um, in order to, you know, to have these changes, we have to work on something. And that something may be us, okay, our attitudes, our personality, um, because this is what is going to, sorry, this is what's going to show other people that you are serious about starting your own business and the way the Lord is taking me is attracting new clientele, new high paying clientele, okay? And so there needs to be some changes. So this is something that I'm practicing on and, and the Lord um, also put in my heart, you know, to also work on t-shirts um, and also work on the packaging um, that everything will be falling together into a very elegant, professional-looking business, okay? Um, always uh, keeping him in mind, knowing that we can create coffee mugs, we can create tumblers, but it has to have that... Um, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that we always have to keep him in mind, saying that all our products, the design and everything, we have to acknowledge that he is in the middle of our business, okay? Another tip that I um, I want to share with you throughout this journey is that I'm going to share my journey with you. I'm going to share um, how Quindom Cafe used to look before and why it didn't move forward as to how it's turning in right now. All right, so you know how I share about, you know, there are so many people, wonderful people out there that are doing the gift baskets and we have to realize that you have to start somewhere. I'm sure they didn't start, you know, um, with all that they have now, but they had to start somewhere. Now, the demand of their products um, is going to tell them how much products or how much items, how many items they have to purchase. And that's why they go through the 90% off and the deals here and the deals there. In my journey, um, I have to work little by little, which means that because the branding is changing, uh, the branding colors, uh, the message is still there, um, but the target audience has also changed, I have to work in a small scare, scale, meaning that I don't have to over purchase, I don't have to overdo it. But slowly but surely, when you're out and about, um, you can find some things that you may find, you know, cute or perfect or adequate for your gift basket. And that's what I did today, and that's how I found the gift basket. Speaking about the gift basket, I didn't have to use any type of tape to keep them together. Okay. And this is how it looks. So the only reason why I'm going to use tape is to tuck in the corners, okay? So 
Yeah, so this is something that I wanted to share with you. I am sharing the journey that I'm in because I want you to understand that we don't have to get overwhelmed with what others are doing because they are at a different level that we are, okay? They have a different calling. We can get ideas. We can implement their ideas. We can definitely um learn from them stuff that we don't know if we don't know how to make bowls and they're teaching me and um how to make bowls go ahead and take advantage of that but then you're going to apply it to what the lord has in store for you how can you do that spend time with the lord write things down when it comes to mind and just pray over it I was able to wrap this with this um, cellophane bag. I am really excited about that one. I'm going to talk in the size. And I also wanted to share with you that, um, you know, the Lord has better plans that we do. We can start with something and he can develop it to something uh, really different. Um, I never thought that I would do... First and foremost, I never thought that I was going to work with, you know, uh, cream colors and toned down colors and earth tones. Now, I never knew that I was going to work with that because I was always a, you know, a very um, outgoing person. I've always been into bright colors. It makes you happy. It makes you all of that. But I never knew I was going to work um, put that on the side and tone it down a little bit. It's just like God is telling me, Mary, it's time to tone it down, okay? And so I just did that, and this is how it's looking. And so, you know, he may, he may do that from time to time, but it has to go according to, um, you know, his will, not mine, his will. So a friend of mine sent me a nice package a while ago and it included this kind of color um, ribbon. And so when I was looking at the products that I'm adding to this gift basket, the Bath & Body Works um, body cream does have those colors. So I'm going to take advantage and use these uh, ribbon, I'm going to cut it at arm's length and see uh, what I can do with it. So happy she did that. I also used this craft color um, thread to um, secure this. And I'm going to see what I can do with this. All right, so here's my experience with this kind of ribbon. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get it through the loops. I have to use my fingers to get that. It's small, but it's simple, and the color is perfect. However, if we're gonna do it with our fingers, it's gonna take a long time, especially when you haven't done it in a long time. So this is how the gift basket is looking at this point. Okay. It has the wallet. It has the Bath & Body Works rose um, body cream. It does have the Dove cream as well. It has the spa gift basket. And it does have the three-piece um, vacuum set. It's called... Um, but it's a thermal set. But this is what it looks like. So something simple that you can do from home. Another thing in the last tip that I'm going to share today is that it's been in my heart to share these ideas for people that don't have a vehicle because I know there is a need out there. And I know most of the ideas that we have shown over here is to um, sell our gift baskets out there in the world. But sometimes, um, depending on the circumstances of the person, um, they can't even do that. However, there are so many things that you can offer from home gift baskets for pickup or shipping. So get um, acquainted with that. Get... Um, I hope that your ideas will flow with that. And 
educate yourself on what's out there. Maybe it's a possibility that you can offer these products on Etsy um, and build your clientele that way. Maybe when, once you get your clientele, you can move um, towards your website or start by teaching how to create these gift baskets here using the YouTube platform and then um, direct them to your uh website um as well as the tiktok um you don't have to show your face use tiktok only uh for business purposes you don't have to spend your time scrolling and wasting time um i did not want to do tiktok but the lord directed me to tiktok just to focus on business okay so the Lord can also tell you where to go, okay? So the different areas that the Lord want me to focus on is on Instagram. He wanted me to delete the Facebook. I deleted the Facebook. Um, the Instagram, the YouTube, uh, TikTok, my blog, my website, and possibly Etsy. But um, possibly I um, may have to leave um Etsy, I'm just waiting for a direction on his part. And that's the key to a successful business. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified about ideas such as this one, business tips that I always share in every single video. And check out my blog. I always put a blog post in there with additional um, business tips. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.